Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. This is Corey Heights. Some battles. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they got us. If they did, maybe, maybe. So you will get better as a player during that year. So it was kind of exciting. Like, oh, yes, yeah, somebody wants me. Welcome to this week's episode of the Prep Athletics Podcast, and we are going to do an update. And on this update, we are going to talk about the current state of basketball academies. And the reason I wanted to bring this topic up right now is because I've had multiple families reach out to me where they're in a current situation where they sent their child to a basketball academy and things have gone awry, things have not gone as planned, and now they're looking to move their kid. And I have been dealing with this for since I've probably been doing this, probably since 2010. I've, I've, I've seen the basketball academies and what they've done. And I don't think it's ever going to end, right? There can always be someone that opens up a basketball academy, might be doing it for the right reasons, but just for one reason or another, it's not going to be a good fit for most of the kids. So I just want to have a refresher, kind of an update uh, on this world and, and just you know let families know what's, what's going on out there with the basketball academy world. Now I'm going to start again and just say a basketball academy and a prep school are not the same thing, all right? I've said this a lot in articles. I've said this in podcasts previously. Just want to you know, set this up for the conversation. But prep schools are brick and mortar schools. A lot of them have been around a long time, uh, centuries even. They've got board of directors, endowments, they're accredited, dorms, gyms, cafeteria, staff that lives on site, Wikipedia pages, endowments, alumni programs. It's like a college except at the high school level. Right. And then basketball academies, those are places that can start on, you know, with the snap of a finger. And all you need is a gym, transportation, a place for kids to stay. And that's it. There's no accreditation. There's no oversight. Um, and there are some good ones out there, but there are some bad ones out there, bad actors, people getting in it for the wrong reasons. That's what I want to talk about today, just to let people know if you're looking at this route, here are some things to consider. All right. So, number one, you have to do your due diligence. I say this all the time on social media. I say it in my articles. I say it in other podcasts. I say it when I talk to people. There are good basketball academies out there run by good people doing it for the right reasons. Okay, There are others out there doing it for the wrong reasons. But you have to do your due diligence. Don't just listen to an AU coach who says, hey, I know this place. I sent a guy there last year. Don't listen to that. Don't listen to the price tag. Right? They're going to be way more affordable than prep schools. And don't listen to the used car salesman pitch that a lot of these coaches do. All right, He might have sent a few kids D1 in the past. Doesn't mean your kid's going to go D1. All right, Every kid's different. So if you go to my website, prepathletics.com, and go to the blog section, there's actually an article in there. And I'm going to link this in the show notes below. But there's an article on questions to ask a prep school, I'm sorry, a basketball academy coach. Right, you got to be feel comfortable with these. I'm not going to list them all, but some of them are. What's the living situation? Right, is it going to be four in a room? Is it going to be two in a room? How many bathrooms are there? Is it a house? Is it a dorm? What's the food situation? Is it going to be mac and cheese and cereal because that's the cheapest thing to buy in bulk at Costco? Are you going to be fed? Right, who's the adult supervision? What are the academic requirements? Who did you place last year? Did you place all of your players? Right, just to just to name a few. So you have to do your due diligence, all right? Um, and just be careful of the pitch, right? If you're ever interested in prep schools, reach out to me. I'll let you know real quick if it's something that you would qualify for or not, all right? And I will help you if you mention a place. If I've heard of it, I'll say yay or nay if it's a place I've heard of that's decent. But the reason I don't recommend basketball academies is they're all over the place, right? And they're popping up left and right. I still am trying to visit all the brick and mortar prep schools out there. I'm about 90% finished. And I've been doing that for the past 14 years, but trying to visit all these basketball academies, I can't do it. And in the past, I actually sent some kids to basketball academies before I knew better because I bought into it as well. And I visited these places and even I had the, the cloak pulled over my eyes, right? Um, I believe the hype that these guys were pitching and it was not until players started complaining to me and parents that things were not as promised that, um, after the last incident, I said, no more. I cannot, I cannot, you know, put my company's name and my name on the line for a basketball academy. And I can't put a family in a situation like this um, and, and, and endanger the safety of their kids. 
But like I said, not all basketball academies are bad. I'm not going to recommend any because I'm not in that process. I'm not, also not going to call any out either. I did mention on Twitter recently about this mom who had this problem with this prep school on the West Coast. And there was a lot of questions asking me to name the prep school. That is not my role. I'm not going to do that. One, this could be just one parent's opinion of the school. It might not even be that way because, you know, parents sometimes um, are a little bit jaded when they're talking about their kid and they see things through different glasses. Hell, I see things different through my glasses with my own daughters, right? So I'm not here to call out schools. Do your due diligence, all right? If it doesn't look good, get a lawyer involved. Look for another prep school. There are still prep schools that take kids this time of year, which is uh, late October. Uh, there are kids or schools that take kids at the beginning of the semester in January. You can move your kid. You can also write a letter from a lawyer threatening uh, to get your money back if things don't go right either. There's, there's multiple things to do, but it's not Prep Athletics' job to be the basketball academy police out there. So I will not be calling these schools out, okay? Because there are good ones out there. This place that this mom is complaining about might be the only chance some kids get, and they might be paying very little, if any, money to go there, and they might actually get placed. So while they might not be perfect for every kid, some kids' lives, lives might be changed from this. And the example I'll give is, you know, I dealt with a, a basketball academy in the South that shut down, you know, made national news. But one of the kids I had there, they placed him out of college. And this was a kid from an inner city, single mom. All they could afford was $5,000 for the tuition. And this academy placed him in a college, and it's changed his life forever. So I'm not going to throw all basketball academies under the rug. Some are good, some are bad. But one thing I want you to think about is, and ask the coaches, why you're doing this? Why are you going through the bandwidth it's going to take to start one of these places? I have a lot of you know, coaches reach out that run basketball academies or are thinking about starting them, and I give them my opinions, right? I give them pitfalls to look out for. I tell them challenges they've got. I tell them things they need to do to make sure they're a good place. But one of the questions I ask is, why are you doing this? You know, you can see it pretty quickly if a guy uh, tries to get a high major so he can, you know, maybe get on a D1 coaching staff. Or maybe this coach is trying to get enough players so he can get a shoe deal. Or maybe someone wants to ride the coattails of their player to get an assistant job at a D1 program. Or if one of their guys goes to the lottery in the NBA draft, maybe they'll become one of his, you know, his crew. And in fact, one basketball academy coach told me that one of his players got drafted in the lottery and the player better not forget about him. I've met this coach twice. Both times he mentioned that to me, and we're not even that good of friends, but that's how superficial he was with his reasons for coaching, right? So those are things I would want to know from a coach is what is your why? Why are you doing this? And here's the thing too. A basketball academy could be run by a great guy with the right intentions who just wants to help a kid, but one false business move, and it can shut the place down, right? There was a place in Colorado called Denver Prep. And I'm in Colorado, so this is just 20 miles away from me. It had two of the top 10, uh, two, two top big men in the class of 2023, right? And they had a benefactor that had money, bought a dorm or a house, bought a gym, and they were running out of there. And then due to disagreements between the financier, this money guy, and the, the program, the financier pulled all the funding from them. So that on a Tuesday night, this school shut down. No more. It's done based on one decision right? One guy's decision. So how do you know it's not going to happen at a basketball academy you go to? Now, one thing that's going on in the news right now is Kanye West. Kanye West is getting canceled left and right for some comments he's been making. And Kanye West owns Donda Academy, which is named in honor of his mother. And that's based out in California. I think it's in Calabasas. They got a couple, multiple top 100 players in their team. But say Kanye uh, has a bad day and decides to shut it down. He could do that. He's a billionaire. Money's not a problem, but he's very moody. And he has mental, you know, documented mental health problems where he could shut it down. So every basketball academy out there, you got to really be careful. And just a, another side note too, like IMG Academy, Hargrave Military Academy, Worcester Academy. Those are real places. Just because they have academy in the name does not mean they're a basketball academy. All right, those are legit places. So just a little housekeeping there on the academy. Um and you also get what you pay for, right? If you're paying $2,500 for nine months, you might not be getting steak and shrimp a couple of nights a week, right? Your beds might not be the most comfortable. You might be having multiple roommates. Um, you might have 60 guys on a program. So you get what you pay for too, right? Not saying you can't get a good spot for that price. 
And if that's your only option, take it. That used to be my thing with basketball academies is, hey, I can't guarantee what's going to happen, but it's a chance, right? It's $5,000. It's a chance. Might not be the best food. Might not be the best living conditions, but it's a chance to play basketball for nine more months to see what you can potentially get out of it. So if you know that going in, that might help you with your, you know, your mindset on this. So that's what I wanted to do is address the kind of current state of basketball academies. Go to my website, look in the show notes and the links below for my articles on questions to ask basketball academies. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. You know, my contact information is at prepathletics.com. Uh, so feel free to reach out to me there. And if you like this, please subscribe uh, to the podcast on all the major podcasting platforms to include YouTube. YouTube, actually, if you subscribe there, we've got bonus content that we're starting to put up. And um, I also have a newsletter. If you go to prepathletics.com, you can sign up for to hear all the latest uh, news, signings, podcasts, articles, etc. So once again, Prep Athletics Podcast. I want to talk about the Basketball Academy situation today, October 25th, 2022. And uh, just, you know, do your due diligence. Do your due diligence. Do your due diligence. Thanks so much.